out on the farm and you're boondocking, there's usually lots of chores to do. One of them that I watch my brother do is feed the cows. I don't do the chores. If, if he asked me to or if he needed me to, I would. But for now, I'm just observing. And it's pretty fun. So in these days of challenge and and confusion, just remember, some things stay the same. Yeah, some things stay the same. You just have to keep doing those chores. You gotta say, you gotta just keep the, uh, keep taking care of business, whatever that is and whatever that looks like. And keep dreaming. You know, there's things that are gonna happen over this next year, year and a half with Lots of these, lots of these uh, trials behind us. And you have to have some plans and some dreams and some goals and some desires to take care of then. So I wanted to give you some of the places that we went to this last year, places that we'll go back to. We've never been to Texas, but we're going to Texas in the fall. At least that's the plan. And so here's some places that we have gone to this last year that we really want to go back to. I want to share that with you. special day because the dog here is having puppies yeah I know pretty crazy like as I speak they the dog is having puppies so maybe I can share that with you too and probably tomorrow we'll get the goats here because we've already made sure that the pen is ready for them too it's always changing on the farm hey buddy yeah what? Oh my goodness. Aren't you strange? Yeah, with that big tongue. Oh, that's crazy. That's right. Wow, yesterday was quite the day. Uh, eight puppies. Ten. Four boys and four girls. And then two more later at night. Serious? Yeah. There's 10 puppies over there. Okay, I, I remember hearing, okay, the final count is eight. Oh, we got one more. That's right. <laughs> that changes the numbers. More. So there are 10 puppies, last we heard. So we'll check it out this morning, see if there are any more that were born in the middle of the night. But man, it's so cool to be out here and have that concept of, of life. new life. Yeah. You know, it's exciting. It's, it's fun. It's, pre it's pretty and beautiful. We love it. Yes. So we just wanted to share with you a little bit. Kent was already mentioning earlier in the video about um, making a plan, having plans, 
having dreams, having goals, having desires. And we just want to talk a little bit about what that looks like. Yeah, and it, it looks like as of today, um, federal parks, federal national parks in the U.S. are encouraging people to come and enjoy their locations, even though most of the uh, public buildings will be closed. Yeah, so that was from one of our patron family members. He gave us a, a link to um, the National Parks information today. So we just want to share that with you. So definitely do your research. Things are changing so fast yes. that don't take our word for it. But definitely if you are wanting to get outside and go for a walk, go for a hike, it sounds like yeah. the National Parks, some of them, not all of them, but some of them are, are open and, Without they've, fee. and they've waived their entrance fees. Yeah. So get outside and go play. At a distance. <laughs> That's right. Make sure you're separated from each other. <laughs> um, anyway, so what else do we want to talk about as far as, you know, the future and plans and all that stuff? We we actually have a camp hosting job now. Good news! We have work week. camping. We're so happy. We're for not this sure job. the start date. <laughs> Nobody knows the start date yet. Yes, that's right. But we have been hired on to work at a campground in Alberta at the same campground that my mom and dad are going to be working at. Again, that is so much fun. We love working with my mom and dad. It's about an hour and a half from Calgary, from where our kids are living. So yes. that's excellent. Right where we want it to be. This is yeah, good. Yeah, it's awesome. And it's going to be hot, sunny weather there too. So yeah, we're going to get used to that hot, sunny weather and that's that'll it's be helpful. It's going to be awesome. And do we want to tell them what the job role is? Well, I'm sure there's going to be some, some spillover into uh, so different areas, but it's going to be definitely event director. Activities director, activities yeah. coordinator. So we are like, this is going to be a fun, fun summer. We're going to hang out with the kids. So we're going to have family events, movie nights and pool days so and all gonna, kinds of stuff. We're going to get paid to help other people have fun. Do you think that maybe fits in with who we are, you know, helping people have fun? We might tell them to grab life by the tail. <laughs> we just might do that. So thank you all for your prayers and your concerns, your thoughts, your encouraging words for us as we've been looking for this work camping position. Yes. We're so happy to finally be able to announce that we are going to be doing that. And of course, we're taking you along with us. So we'll, yeah. we'll be excited to do that as well. We have a wedding coming up and it's going to change. Yeah. Uh, the event is going to happen still. It's going to happen at a much lesser capacity than it was planned and so that brings in some loss yeah so we definitely wanted to touch on that as well in this video is that in these uncertain times when things are changing so quickly we will all have that sense of loss and yes. sadness for certain things whether it's actually for a loved one who has passed away and we do want to give our condolences to anyone who has experienced that and is, is going through that right now and we're sorry for that yes, that is a really sorry. hard time to go through um, you know, just be comforted with those memories, be comforted with your family and friends around. So there's that level of loss and then there's the loss as well of, of your job or of your expectations of what your plans were for summer. Maybe you were going to travel somewhere or maybe you were going to, you know, have a big family reunion. Now that has to change or a wedding or whatever. So I think it's okay to recognize that we will feel loss and we will feel sadness and that's okay. Yeah. There's nothing to be ashamed by that. Have a little cry, you know, um, or a big cry, or a big cry, and and you know, realize that that is part of life, you know, and and don't let it get you into that level of like really deep depression and despair. Yeah, if it um, does feel very overwhelming, which grief does, it can. Yeah, uh, check out the description below. There's grief share. Mm, yeah. uh, click on that. Say hi to the people there by uh, signing up, mm -hmm. and you will have resources given to you for free. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic program. I've gone program. through this program. Lisa's gone yeah. through this program yeah. because of loss. And you think nobody understands. This is way too deep. I can't even, I can't even share mm -hmm. what I'm going through and I don't know how to get through it. Grief Share is people around this entire country that have all felt that way mm -hmm. and put the tools in place so that you know what you can do tomorrow. It might just be getting up and making breakfast. Mm -hmm. Grief share, I, I encourage you to check that out. And it doesn't matter how long ago you experienced your loss. It could have been, you know, your parents passed away 10 or 15 years ago and you still feel like that's just nagging at you and you, you aren't coping well with that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter yeah. when that loss happened. Just go ahead and, and sign up with that grief share program. We really highly recommend it. And we're not sponsored by them by no. any means. We just really, we've gone through it. It helped us. We want to give that tool to you as well to help you out. And then when you can, look forward to those plans. Look forward to those desires, look forward to those future uh, dreams, and look forward to the things in life that you're going to accomplish. Because 
it is going to end. I mean, something, it, this can't last forever, right? So be looking forward to those things. Ha keep, you know, this is a great time to make travel plans and to say, okay, now I'm going to go get my RV. Oh, that was the other thing we were gonna talk about. Yeah. All of a sudden, the whole world is like, oh, guess what? You can work from home. What wow, an opportunity. that's awesome. Because... Some of you have told us that your boss will never let you work from home and now you're told to work from home. Exactly. That could be with six wheels driving down the road. Absolutely, this could be your ticket. This could be the thing, the golden ticket that you've been looking for yes. to go launch your life into full-time RV life or even part-time RV life or whatever, whatever it is that you're looking for. Or so, it could be EI. <laughs> it might be EI that helps you out with that, whatever it is. So, so look at the opportunities available through this whole thing and the, that silver lining in the dark cloud. We did a live stream a couple days ago. Yes. So much fun for all of you that were able to join us in the live stream and for those who have watched it since then and made comments. Yeah. But I encourage you to go check that out because that was an amazing time of everyone giving their input and ideas of yes. what to do when you're stuck at home. It was this community all coming together saying, hey guys, we're all realizing that there's all of this change and all of this uh, disruption and it's yeah. all going to be okay as long as we keep connecting with each other yeah exactly so go check out that live stream and we would love it right now if you could leave in the comments below your recommendations for the things we can do to keep grabbing life by the tail yeah. while we are in this state of flux this state of uncertainty uh, being quarantined or isolated at home whatever it is what are those ideas that you have put those in the comments below because they you guys are amazing you have such we love a good... your comments we saw one guy that says hey in two weeks i'm going to florida to pick up my rv awesome perfect it's awesome. perfect timing you know or to to learn a new skill or to teach your dog a new trick i know papa drew's rv check out his channel he is actually taking his dog to learn how to be a dock dog so that so his big great dane will be running and jumping off the dock and hitting the water and grabbing the toy and bringing it back it's like yeah what an opportunity to go and do some of these things that nobody's ever had time to do before. Yeah, or you it might just be the time to get goats. Get goats, have puppies. <laughs> anyway, so we guys, you guys, we just we want you to know that we love you. Yeah. We care about you. We are a community and we need to stick through this together. And you know, even though we physically have to distance from one another, yep. maybe be isolated or have that hockey stick length from one another. We're still gonna share with you. We're still a community. What's and going on in our lives. I think it's important even more than before for us to be a community and encourage each other, put some positive words out there, put some encouraging words out there, tell people you love them. Yeah. Tell them you love them. This is a huge thing. And just go and grab life by the tail. Yes. My name is Lisa. My name is Kent and we're Living Light RV. We are grabbing life by the tail. Yes. Even in these uncertain times, we know you are too. And we will see you guys next Thursday. Take care.